When it comes to the jet board industry, not many companies stand the test of time. Onin is one of the rare companies that was first to introduce electric jet boards to the market. This year, they are launching a brand new Carver twin model with two jets. Let's find out a little bit more about it. Hi John, and welcome to our show. It's a pleasure to have you. You know, I was one of the first customers having Onion Carver, and basically because of your board, I started my whole channel. It's been a long time and a lot changed since then. And now you are one of the oldest companies that stood the test of time. Tell me how you got started in jetboarding industry. Well, hey Mike, how you doing, first of all? Um, as you well know, we, we started back in uh, 2014. We are a spin-off um, of another company called Bisintech, and they, uh, it's a well-known company around here, and they specialize in developing um, all kinds of electronics for new products. So we, we had the know-how back in, in uh, 2014, and we come from windsurfing. So Inigo, our CEO, the one who invented the, the boards, uh, you know, he was doing some, some experiments and everything, and he, he developed a prototype. And um, well, after testing it out and after seeing that people, after going out to the beach, for example, and, and seeing the reaction of the people, all the inquiries and all, all of the potential, we initiated a pre-order campaign. And this is when, when you began to contact us, you remember that, back in, back in 2014, and we, we did the pre-order. That you made a four beer. Yeah, that was amazing and got me yeah. so hooked about jet boarding. Yeah, there you go. And I believe back in the day, it was only it was only uh, maybe early Lampuga and Radin in the market. I believe there was nobody else and, and jet surf, obviously, but in gasoline. And, um, you know, we did a pre-order campaign. We had a lot of inquiries and and then we knew that the market was was really a, a huge potential. And, uh, you know, as as you mentioned before, it's uh, it's been a it's been a great ride, and we still have a huge, huge market to to attend, and the inquiries are piling up and increasing day after day. And new products have been coming to the market, which is great, and we'll see we'll see how it is. Great. And speaking of other companies, they keep introducing a lot of new products almost every year. And you've been pretty conservative. You have pretty much the same size, the same weight of the board. So tell me uh, how you compare the boards that you currently have. Well, you know, we, we started off with the, with the Manta and the Carver. Um, we try to focus at the beginning on easy boards to facilitate for people to plane, to reach planning. Uh, there, some people, you know, classify them as entry level boards. We try to make it as easy as possible for newcomers to this industry to enjoy and to experience the feeling of planning over the water. Of course, they're not, they're not boards that are extremely agile or they're extremely easy to handle when it comes to jumping or doing other kinds of tricks. But this is a board that for the average user or anyone that wants to get um, experience or they want to, to initiate their um, water sports jet boarding um, adventure it's a great board to to be to be chosen and um, later on as you well know we um, we struggled to bring heavier guys or bigger guys to plane and this is the reason why we developed the Carver X you know we it was the it was the simplest way we could offer those guys over 80 kilograms the possibility to plane and to reach higher speeds. Me, for example, I'm 100 kilos. I'm I'm two I'm two meters. I'm six seven and uh, and and 220 pounds. And for me, it was you know, I could try the Carver, for example, but I could not enjoy it, you know. And then when when we developed this this new Carver X that we launched back in 2018, and and I tested out. For me, it was a different, you know, different picture. And now a lot of clients now only request the car brakes. And then oh. we have the Manta, which is more focused on families. It's more of a SUP concept. It's more stable, it's very safe. It's, 
is more of a board. If you would like to call it for rentals, it fits perfectly into the rental uh, business type. And even families that you know, want something very safe and something they will enjoy and will have a longer range battery life, this is a great option for them as well. So let's cover the differences between Carver X and Twin. Basically, they will replace an old Carver model, right? Yes, correct. You know, at the beginning, you knew that uh, that we had the uh, the problem of the weight allowance for the Carver, uh, the maximum weight allowance for to reach 30 percent. I mean, 30 30 kilometers per hour was 80 kilograms. And now with the Carver Twin, what we did it was to split those five kilowatts into two separate twin jets. So each jet has 2.5 kilowatts, and this would uh, this enabled us to get 30 percent more thrust and change the maximum allowance weight from 80 to 90 kilograms. So now a 90 kilogram rider will be able to experience the Carver Twin and reach 30 kilometers per hour approximately. Pretty much the same, the same performance as the Carver, but for a larger uh, segment of the population, so to speak. And, uh, you know, the basic, you know, the basic um, changes of this board is also the the modular system. What we've done is both jets even are replaceable. Also the ECU and the antennas and everything, all of those are extractable parts. So it will enable any dealer, any official authorized dealer or rental stations from Onian to be able to exchange any parts and do full service anywhere in the world, basically. So Carver X has two batteries. Does it mean that it will have two times longer riding time? No, it actually has the same riding time as the as the Carver or the Carver Twin in this case, because uh, the Carver X has 10 kilowatts of power divided into two five kilowatt jets, and they need those two batteries to be able to use that power. So each battery would actually, you know, give power to each jet. So, but the thing is with the Carver X, the most important thing is that for most people, they don't need those 10 kilowatts. For example, let me give an example. If uh, if a rider of 85 kilograms use the Carver X, they don't need to go full speed the whole time to be able to enjoy planning. And what a lot of customers do is that they limit the Carver X to 80%, for example, which is enough to bring them to plane. And by saving that, they increase battery life. So you can, you know, make some changes to get, you know, either better range or if you like to get best performance at all times you keep your controller and everything at 100 percent power i understand and to finish the comparison what's the difference in weight of the boards and weight together with batteries of twin and car x well you know the twin um we did add a little bit of weight in comparison to the carver because of the double jets but um with uh, a carver twin for example with the battery and all the accessories and everything uh, the total weight would be approximately 38 kilograms. And then the Carver X, on the other hand, it will be more between 45 and 50 kilograms, which is, you know, some people consider it heavy, but at the end of the day, uh, the Carver X, for example, can bring a guy up to 140 kilograms to full planning. Yeah, I see. Yeah, they are pretty heavy, but people need to understand they are very long, so they're very buoyant also and very easy to learn. Like you mentioned, it's really a great, easy board for people getting started. When mm -hmm. I was starting myself, I was looking for a board that is easy for me. I wasn't like right. a professional jet surfer or something. Yeah. And I was, I need a board that is big, easy, very buoyant, very stable. That's why mm -hmm. I actually found yeah. hardware. And absolutely, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people that whenever, you know, when, when we explain how to transport the batteries and the boards, you can do it separately. So it's, it's fairly easy for a customer to grab the board on one hand and then grab the board on the other one, if we're talking about the Carver Twin, and just transport it at the same time and go to, you know, to the shore and just get the board in the water and go. I was also using a trolley to put the Carver. Do you plan to offer your own, your own trolley or people need to buy separately? Uh, we've, you know, we've seen um, a lot of different brands of trolleys that we've used in the past. Uh, you know, if any customer inquires any, any, any trolley, we can redirect them to the best brands that we've, that we've uh, 
that we've tested and they could purchase them elsewhere. And um, maybe in the near future, we do some kind of collaboration with an established brand already so we can include it as maybe within the pack. It would be interesting. I see. And also Manta, we tried Manta a few years ago with my daughter. It's a lot of fun. It's stable. It's like a pool table, super stable. Very cool. It's pretty big though. I know it's not inflatable. Do you plan to offer some inflatable versions or not really? Um, you know, the Manta, as you, as you mentioned, it is very stable. It's a, it's a, it's a family board or like an exploring board, so to speak. Um, a lot of people do inquire uh, about the uh, about the inflatable uh, concept. Mm, we come from windsurfing, as we said, and, uh, and we, we believe in the, in the full sandwich structure of the boards. Um, there are nowadays, although um, new uh, types of inflatable boards that are resistant, but um, everyone that has a Manta and have had it for now four or five years, I mean, the board lasts perfectly and, and, and it can actually you know, sustain some some impact and which is something that you will need in the long run. And I believe that we're comfortable with as it is right now. But yeah, maybe in the future we can change to to an inflatable concept because uh, the transport, I can understand that it can be something difficult for a lot of people. It's, it's pretty it's pretty wide, you know. And good to mention, meant also using the same batteries, so it's easy to interchange. But the riding time can be hours and hours, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. The Manta has two speeds, you know, where in the other products you, you can control the power by a sensitive drop controlling system. In the Manta you have 50% uh, speed and 100% speed. At 50% you'll be going between 6 and 7 kilometers per hour and you will get up to 6 hours of battery life, which is a good thing. And then if you choose to go 100% speed, you will go about 10 to 12 kilometers per hour, and you will get 2.5, three hours maybe of battery life. I see. And like you mentioned, uh, the modular system is a big improvement. So now we don't need to ship whole battery if something goes wrong. You can ship just a jet, yeah, antenna. What can you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, now the uh, since we are initiating international distribution and trying to make the boards more available everywhere to be tested out and to be able to to be bought in, in official rental stations and, and dealers, um, the customer will need to take their board to the closest dealer. They will do the analysis to make sure to, to understand what happened with that board. And the, the official retailer and the, or the official distributor will take out the parts and replace them. In most cases, they will already have the parts, for example. And if it's a, you know, for example, a customer located in a remote area where they don't have anyone else close by, by giving them basic instructions, they be able to take all those parts apart and we'll ship the exchange equipment and they'll be able to install it and have the board in the water in no time. All right. The next question is the battery safety. It's always the biggest concern. So I know you improved your battery a lot since original models, and now you offer even fireproof bag. I got myself this little cool fireproof bag. So tell me what was improved for the battery safety? Well, uh, you know, right now I would like to say that we've been, you know, we've been uh, producing batteries and shipping batteries since 2014. We've shipped already over 2000 batteries into the market. Um, knowing the lithium battery industry, um, every battery is subject to cause damage, even by, for example, the uh, manufacturers of batteries. They inform you that a certain percentage of batteries every, for example, one out of every certain hundred thousand could cause a thermal runaway. And this is something that is, is well recorded. In, in, in many documents and it's impacted pretty much all the electric driven uh, industry. So, you know, we did some improvements on the battery. You know, we did reinforce uh, the battery shell to make sure that it was, that it was more uh, robust and it was more uh, acceptance of uh, small banks or even, even uh, dragging, for example. We know that in rental stations, for example, when they when they put out batteries and put them back in quickly, you know, things can happen 
and you know the product needs to be as robust as possible so we did make uh, an improvement on that also on the lock-in mechanism we just simplified the mechanism so um, they would uh, it would be simpler for the customer to lock the batteries in the boards and to extract them and over time um, not to allow those fins to deteriorate and to get jammed and even on the electronics we added you know multiple layers of additional protection to be able to accelerate cooling down or recharging try to um, try to comp um, try to compensate the cells a little better try to uh, try to maintain the batteries for example during the winter in better condition so that the customer will have optimal performance when he gets back in the water in spring this is certain things that we've that we've been doing as and um, as with any other uh, company things get changed fairly quickly this is one of the good things about Onean is that we do everything in-house so any change that we have to make even on on the battery or on the boards or on electronics we can do it here uh, pretty much on a weekly basis so sounds good and you mentioned uh, storage for winter what's the best way to store the battery long term so do we need to discharge it to 50 percent or completely as uh, as recommended by the manufacturers you should store uh, you should storage the battery uh, between 20 and 30 percent dur during the winter time and they recommend that once a month for example you do like a quick charge if you're able to a quick charge meaning that you will plug it in for just a, a few minutes and then unplug it just so the cells will get reactivated again so you've been around for a long time now almost 10 years in the business and you've seen the industry growing from really small and now you have more and more companies launching the boards. So where do you see the industry of electric boards going next years? Well, you know, this industry is, is constantly, you know, increasing as you've seen as well. There's a lot of different products coming in and out on the market and not a different, you know, a lot of different concepts coming out. The foils really hit it big and uh, it's improving, you know, it's actually, you know, contributing for this industry to, to keep on growing. If you realize, um, we will see a tremendous increase with you know within the next few years, and uh, it's um, we need to work together to to kind of just help this market grow. If you think about it, nobody, no one really knows us yet. We'll still, you know, we've been doing this thing for six years now, and uh, we go out in the water, and people still don't believe that something like this exists. So you know, we all need to, the whole industry, even even foils. Uh, you know, we can, we need to do as much as we can to make this accessible for people, to make this, uh, you know, um, really uh, noticeable, so to speak, so we can continue to grow this market. Yeah, I really hope it grows. It's amazing how after so many years, almost nobody knows about it. Every time people start mm -hmm. sponsoring posts on Facebook, it gets a lot of comments like, what is that? Take a look. Surprising. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I believe we've seen, you know, we've seen a tremendous increase over the last couple of years, maybe, you know, nowadays, you know, people are more aware of uh, all the, uh, all the uh, new products coming out. And for example, you know, as I said before, foils are, are now a big thing as well. And, you know, jet boards are very, very popular and uh, we need to keep on growing. And speaking of new products, you know, a lot of fans keep, keep asking, will you be offering a shorter board? Like you had an idea of Blade, a short board for quick turns. What's the plan? Um, yeah, we've, we've been announcing, you know, at the beginning, you, you didn't know the, the background of the, of the company. We did announce that, that a Blade would come at that point. Um, we are, we're working on it. And uh, the thing is, I, I cannot give a, an actual launching date yet. But yeah, we have plans of bringing shorter boards out into the market. It's not going to be this season. I can I can guarantee you that it's not going to be during 2020. But uh, but yeah, we we do plan on on launching more um, experience, uh, higher performance experience boards. Yeah, I've seen the prototype of Blade. It's pretty cool. I think it's very short, and maybe it's two jets or one jet. I don't remember, but it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, you know, um, you have to give the, the customer the whole range, you know, and now that, that we've covered pretty much uh, 
the whole performance range, the only the only part that we're missing is that last freestyle board, so to speak. That board will allow you to to do higher tricks. Uh, you know, they would be lighter, they would be shorter, they'll be more manageable. And uh, we're working on it, and and we'll see how soon we can have it ready. All right. And final question: How do you see the market changing after COVID-19? I know Spain was hit really hard, but now it has recovered. And it's very good to honestly mention you know, uh, what companies are really shipping. So that's why I'm doing this kind of interviews to see where we're going after COVID-19 and are you going to ship the boards, how quickly it's going to be shipped. So what's mm -hmm. the plan for the end of summer, autumn? Yeah, I mean, you know, COVID, you know, impacted all of the, all of the industry basically, right? Um, us in Spain, it, it hit us pretty hard. And it was it was bad timing because we had just you know finished, uh, for example, all the events at the beginning of the year, and companies have to plan ahead and everything. Um, we didn't stop production, so you know although a lot of people were working from home from the company, we we'll still managed to to keep the keep the factory going to be able to deliver those orders that that still needed to be delivered on on deadlines. So nothing pretty much changed for us. Uh, when it comes to manufacturing and meeting the deadlines, we we have product, we have uh, stock. Uh, our, our dealers uh, have the reservations made, and they have stock as well. So as far as it comes, uh, we can ship pretty much anytime. Sounds good, and good to mention you're shipping from Spain, so it's inside Europe. It's not something from China. It's really good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also, you know, now most of our dealers carry stock as well. So anyone that would like to get, you know, an inquiry on any board, any model, and they would like to get it ASAP, they can contact us or they can just contact any of our authorized resellers and they'd be able to get their board within within a week. All right. Sounds good. I'm wishing you another successful year. Let's hope you keep on going like you, you've been around for a while. And I'm excited to talk to you every time. So thank right. you for your time, John. It's great talking to you, Mike. All right, Hope take to care. See you soon. Have a good one. Bye.